question. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. On the court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. For today's uh, proceeding, the chamber will continue to hear the statements by civil parties. La chambre aujourd'hui poursuit as scheduled les dépositions des parties civiles. And as parties were informed on Monday this week. Mr. Deutsch Paris, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceeding? Deutsch Paris, Mr. President, for today's proceeding, all parties to this case are present. Toutes les parties sont présentes. As for Mr. Nunchi, he is present in the holding cell downstairs Nunchi based on the decision of the trial chamber de concerning de his health. En application de la décision de la chambre au sujet de son état de santé. Civil parties who are to testify today are four. The first one Quatre is TCCP 156, TCCP 156, TCCP, TCCP 7. Sept. TC TCCP 13 13 This civil party will be will testify just through Cette audio visual links from France la and France. the fourth TCCP today is TCCP 198 the three civil parties are present and awaiting the call from the chamber Les quatre parties civiles President, thank you Court officer, could you invite the civil party TCCP 156 into the courtroom? President, le président. Good morning, Madame Civil Party. May Bonjour, you know your Madame. name? Nous dire votre nom? Civil Party. Réponse. My name is Toit Pandaraso. Je m'appelle Toit Pandaraso. Uh, Pandara. Uh, Thank you, Madame Pandara. Le président. Merci, Madame Pandara. Madame Civil Party, please observe a small pause Vis -je vous prie before you speak. Pause avant de you need to wait until you see the red light on the tip of the microphone or the console so that your voice will go through the uh, system, in particular Pour through the interpretation system, as your voice will be interpreted simultaneously into en effet, nous avons English and French. De ce que vous dites en français et en anglais. And your Microphone will be operated by the AV unit. Votre microphone est commandé à distance. How old are you? Quel âge avez-vous? Sixty-four. 
Civil Party. Réponse. Mr. President, Monsieur I le apply Président. to make a request to Mr. President that I'd like to make my statement in French as yes, all my family members are living in France Monsieur and they do not speak Khmer and they are waiting to hear my statement in the French language. President, de pouvoir en Please français. do so. You can use any of the three languages used in this courtroom. Dans you des can trois speak in French. Vous pouvez bien sûr vous exprimer en français. And the interpretation books, please prepare yourself as the, the civil party will now testify in French. Question: Can you tell us your age? Pouvez -vous nous donner votre âge? I was born on 22 August 1946. I'm 67 years old and I am a French citizen. And I'm married and I have three children. And one of them died during the genocide. Question Where were you born and where is your current uh, residence? Et où I was born in Phnom Penh in the third quarter, and I, and I was living in Tokloor with my parents, and currently I live in Paris. The President. Thank you, Madame Tui Panera. Madame As a civil Panera. party before this court, you are given an opportunity to make en tant que your statement of suffering and time declaration of upon you, et du préjudice namely the que vous avez subi. physical, material, and préjudice. psychological impact. Physique which are the direct result of the crimes, resultant directement des crimes commis, which led you to become a civil party, et and which have been accused against the true accused here, that is no cheat and accused of all, and that they occurred during the democratic Cambodia regime from the 17th April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. And that is the opportunity that we give you as a civil party. Vous avez ce droit you may proceed. Vous avez maintenant la parole, madame. Yes, I remember 17 April 1975 when the Khmer Rouge entered the city. We were all very, very happy to see a change in regime because we were saying to ourselves that now there was peace. I saw my mother with her white flag smiling and she said, that's it, that's it. Uh, there's peace now. We're no longer going to suffer from war. And we're going to put, share our goods with the community. And then we were all very enthusiastic. It was really, everyone was joyful. Everyone was so joyful because the war seemed to be over. And during the afternoon, at the beginning of the afternoon, the Khmer Rouge soldiers arrived. And they asked us to leave. We didn't understand why at the beginning. We didn't understand what was going on, why, why we had to leave. We had to rebuild the country, sharing our goods. We were willing to do all that was necessary for that. And the Khmer Rouge soldier said to us, we have to leave. You will only leave for three days because the government is trying to clean up the city, he said. So you have to leave so we can clean up the city and to avoid the bombing. And at the beginning, we were hesitant. And then there were neighbors who told us that we have to get ready. There were people 
Et, out uh, in the street, famille, avec, uh, mes parents, and I was with my avez, parents. Uh, dans la même maison, we were living in the same building, et, although uh, we had each an apartment. Mes parents, uh, and étaient, uh, my parents aussi, were uh, also surprised. On pas prêts pour, pour nos, nos we were not pour ready to go. Et après, quelques, and then. Après une, after about an hour, other soldiers came, and then we became afraid, because the soldiers were very aggressive, and they asked us right away to prepare our bags to leave for three days. So my father therefore ordered us to collect our bags and to prepare ourselves to go for a few days. And I had two young children with me and two nephews who were already in France, so, but who had come back, and there were four children, and I tried to gather a bit of clothing, some water, and medicine. And, and then I, I tied up the four children because there were too many people on the way. And I started becoming afraid because people were everywhere. We had two cars. And we couldn't proceed. We even had to push the car at one point because there were so many and so many people coming from everywhere. And I, there was my little sister with a little bicycle next to me. And she had arrived in the evening. Correct. So in the evening, we arrived at the road to Sienukville, and then suddenly I heard a voice saying, give, give me your watch, a very aggressive voice. And since I was afraid of losing my children whom I had tied together, then I heard a gunshot, and then I saw a man who had just been killed. And that is when I understood that things were very, very serious. We were all very, very afraid. And then our cars were taken away from us. We also had a dog, a German Shepherd. So they confiscated our cars, and my little sister gave her bicycle right away to the Khmer Rouge. But the dog didn't want to leave the car. And since we were so afraid, we left all our clothes behind in the car. We only had water and rice to go to kilometer 13, because at kilometer 13, we had a little plot, uh, and we had a little garden there, and we arrived at kilometer 13, and we spent one night there. The next day, we kept on going with the soldiers forcing us to move ahead with the masses of people. And then I saw the worst thing of my life. I saw women give birth in the street. And I saw sick people in their beds with their drip in the, on the road under the burning sun. And I saw people who couldn't walk. And children were forced to leave their parents behind. And you know that we worship our parents. 
parents are very sacred to us. And when we saw parents separate from their children, it was something that was extremely, extremely hard for Cambodian children. So the soldiers forced us to move on. And we spent two to three nights in a village called Angomias. And before we entered the village, the my grandmother's little nephews came to collect us. They were in the village and they whispered to us. There were three of them. And they asked us to destroy all of our administrative documents, our ID cards, so that we would have nothing with us. And they said that you have to change your name. You're no longer called Darasan. Take a nickname. And it is as of that moment that I have been called Tel, which is still the nickname I have. So we remained in this village for a little while. In the morning, we had to go out into the field to work. Some of the men would go quite a ways away and come back every 10 days, and the women would work in the fields close by. And every day, there were spies. Watching. And we stayed there for a few days. But it seemed so far to me, and the nephews of my grandmother gave us food, gave us rice, and cassava. But there were no protein. Uh, there was no fish, for example, maybe a little bit of sugar. Which helped us uh, a bit. And then we, we had to evacuate this village. They asked us to board trucks to Pursat province, first to Kompongshnang and then to Pursat, and then we took the train. And this was a, a, a cattle train. We were packed together in these boxcars. And then we arrived in Phnom Chung Tien. And then it's at Phnom Chung Ting that famine really began, the true famine. So we had to build a shack. They said, okay, sort it out. We didn't even have knives or forks. Or, and we were obliged to barter to have knives so we could cut branches to make uh, these shacks, improvised shacks, we could say. And we started working very early in the morning. And we would return very, very late at night. We only, and with very, very little food, only a ladle full of rice. And the children were very, very hungry. It was the rain season. We were very, we were soaked. And the children ended up in the mud without anything to eat. And they said, why are you coming? Why are you? I want to go home where we had everything to eat. Why are we in the jungle? I'm hungry. How can you answer that question? Young children, four children. And then the men would go plow the earth 
And for the first time, I, I saw my father plowing the ox cart, plowing, pulling the ox cart himself. I would see my father aged by 10 years in a few days. And this is something unbearable to see. I would see his hair become gray. I would see him pull the plow in the mud. So then I wanted to die. I, I, I could not stand this sight. And I was given work as well when they we were denounced. So the Khmer Rouge came then to collect us very early in the morning. My husband was already ill, and he was ill as of the first days. His legs were swollen. So he stayed in the shack, and they brought us away, six families together. My grandparents had nine children, and, and I was together with the six families in the village of Angom, from the village of Angomies. We left the six families together to this place near Batambang. And the Khmer Rouge brought us to an unknown place. I thought we would be killed in the rice field. We were standing on line, and the people started working very, very early in the morning. It must have been 5 o'clock or 4.30 in the morning. And the Khmer Rouge were just watching us, and I was saying to myself, that's it, they're going to shoot us here. But thank God, they brought us to Bonkontour. And then at Bonkontour, they questioned us for an entire morning. And the group leader called Tapon, who was with soldiers and women soldiers as well, and they asked us for our biography, exactly like what happened at the beginning. People were asking us about our personal history. And we said, well, I, I'm a rice farmer, and we no longer had our documents, as I said. And you know, we had all been shopkeepers. And it was very harsh questioning. They questioned us from early in the morning until late in the afternoon. The same questions over and over again. They said, you're the, the wife of General Tengsari. We were told that your husband is a doctor, that, and that you were, but we always told the same story, that we are just simple people, ordinary people. Traders, shopkeepers. And at one point, the wife of the general almost broke down. I felt that she wanted to tell the truth. But finally, I shook her up, and she gathered her spirits, and she remained calm. And they released us. It was about one o'clock in the afternoon. And then they gave us some food. That was fantastic. Hard rice, real rice. That was fantastic with dried fish. We really felt that that was something that was extraordinary. And I was so hungry. My parents were jumping on the rice. 
I even heard rumors that we would first be given food and then we would be killed. And I was always afraid. I ate half of it. I gave half of my ration away. I kneeled down to offer my parents what I thought would be the last meal. But thank God they released us and they, however, separated us at about two kilometer distance from each other, from each family. And the spies started watching us. They sent my parents, who were old, to go work with the teenagers without eating, and they, they couldn't barter for food, and my parents, therefore, in 1976, died one after the other, my entire family, in fact, in 1976. The President. Le président. Uh, Council, you may proceed. Maître, je vous en prie, allez-y. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je m'appelle Marie Giraud, je suis de l'équipe de la FIDH et j'assiste Madame Feignas dans le cadre de cette procédure. Je voulais simplement peut-être à titre liminaire rappeler les, les documents qui, permettent, qui permettront à la Cour et aux partis de, de, se, de se retrouver dans le témoignage de, de Madame Feignès. Cette dernière s'est constituée partie civile en janvier 2008 et vous avez son formulaire de renseignement sur la victime à la cote D22-189. Je vais donner les numéros euh, IRN, français 00-27-93-74-77, ERN en anglais 00-84-78-88-88. Et IRN en Khmer, 00 40 42 56 à 67. Madame Feignès a ensuite euh, fait un supplément de témoignage qui a été enregistré le 9 avril 2009. L'IRN en anglais. 00 85 21 79 à 81. IRN en français, 00 58 45 51 à 53. Madame Feignès n'a jamais été entendue ni par le bureau du procureur ni par les co-juges d'instruction et elle a été reçue dans sa constitution de partie civile par le bureau des co-juges d'instruction au titre du transfert forcé numéro 1. Madame Feignès, je viens de mentionner. Bonjour déjà. Je viens de mentionner les documents qui, euh, euh, par lesquels vous vous êtes constitué partie civile. Est-ce que vous avez pu relire ces documents Et si oui, sont-ils exacts Ou y a-t-il des choses que vous souhaiteriez préciser 
to give us further details on. The President, uh, please uh, hold on. Uh, observe the uh, light on the microphone when you speak. Yes, Council. I read the document and I did see that there was a small typing mistake about the rocket. They weren't Khmer Rouge rockets, in fact, they were Viet Cong rockets. In the document, it says Khmer Rouge shells, and I'd like to have that rectified. Dans le temps qui nous, qui nous reste, Madame Fénès, je vais, je vais vous have, poser des Mrs. questions Fines. sur. Uh, sur l'impact de ce que tout ce que vous avez décrit a pu avoir dans votre vie pendant les faits et puis surtout après. Vous avez dans votre, dans votre petite introduction liminaire, vous avez beaucoup parlé de la faim. Est-ce que cette privation de nourriture a eu un impact sur vous par la suite Et si oui, quel est-il had a serious impact on you afterwards, and if so, could you please tell us about that? Oui, la l'impact de la privation qui jouait sur moi, c'est que je devenais boulimique en sortant de after du Cambodge that, en 1979. After leaving Alors, Cambodia in 1979, I became a compulsive eater, and I certainly put on a lot of weight. La nourriture me manque toujours. I je peux me always de tout, long for de food. Tout, I can confort, tout, la do without confort. a great deal of things, comfort, money, whatever, maison, even a roof over my head, but I need to have food. Je vous remercie. Vous avez évoqué dans votre, dans votre témoignage en, en début d'audience euh, votre père et, vos, et les anciens et, et l'importance que ceux-ci ont euh, dans, dans votre culture. Quels sont les, les sentiments aujourd'hui que vous éprouvez finalement vis-à-vis -vis de, de vos parents Est-ce que, est que ça évoque quelque chose de particulier pour vous encore aujourd'hui with you today, and if so, tell us about it, please. You know, the children of Cambodian came to their parents. It's their God, in fact. Their parents are something that they don't touch. It's sacred, their parents. The children venerate their parents. They're almost sacred. You don't touch them. And to see my parents dying well before they were old, in their 50s, Without me being able to give back to them what they gave to me is something that will never be erased from my life. The conditions in which they died were not worthy of animals. It's better for animals. They get buried. But my parents died in a way that there are no words to describe. Thrown into the ditch, naked. I don't even know the place where he was discarded. And I retain a terrible feeling of guilt about this. Not having been able to save my parents, if I was perhaps a little braver, I might have been able to feed them, bring them some rice, something. You never erase memories like that. And that's why I'm here to ask this court for justice. Not 
to give the deceased back their souls so they may leave in peace. Because right now, I know their souls are lost between the living and the dead. And if there is justice, that would be an honor to them. That's why I want to come to call for justice. And not just for them, for the two million other Cambodians who disappeared thanks to that Khmer Rouge regime. Merci, Madame Feignes. Vous avez évoqué vos parents. Vous avez aussi euh, évoqué dans votre propos liminaire l'un de vos fils qui est décédé pendant cette période. Je voulais demander l'autorisation du tribunal, Monsieur le Président, de projeter quatre photos qui me permettront de poser euh, des questions à Madame Feignes sur. Euh, les membres de, de sa famille qui apparaissent sur ces photos et surtout sur les conditions dans lesquelles elle a pu conserver ces photos. Donc les photos ont été, je crois, transmises au, au parti hier et je vous demande simplement l'autorisation de pouvoir les projeter pour pouvoir poser un certain nombre de questions à, à Mme Feignes. Le Président, merci. You may proceed, uh, and I wish to remind the civil party that you uh, have until 10 uh, o'clock this morning uh, to make your statement. Vous avez jusqu'à 10 heures ce matin. Merci. Madame Feignes, on, on projette, je crois, vous, vous l'avez sur votre écran. Je ne sais pas si, si tout le monde l'a, du coup, Madame, you have euh, on your screen. des photos. I don't know if else does. Je voudrais que vous expliquiez... And à la cour et au parti, like qui sont euh, les personnes qu'on voit sur ces photos. À cause d'une méningite, il a ramassé un gâteau de la bouche d'un chien que les enfants Khmer Rouge ont jeté. Il avait tellement faim qu'il avait ramassé les gâteaux. Et puis le soir, il avait la faim. Et son papa, qui était médecin, savait que son fils avait la méningite. Il a essayé d'avoir de l'antibiotique afin qu'il ait des pénicillines en échange de l'argent. Mais il n'y avait pas de pénicillines en échange de l'argent. Mais il n'y avait pas de pénicillines en échange de l'argent. Vous savez... It was a very hard day when he died. He had been wearing a T-shirt, a yellow T-shirt. And it had a slogan on the T-shirt. If I smile to you, do you smile to me? And when he died and I saw written upon his chest, will you smile back to me while he was on his deathbed? I think any mother would understand the appalling emotion I went through. Madame Feignas, on va, on va faire défiler les photos et vous me dites Mrs. Feignas, si vous souhaitez ajouter quelque chose ou si ce n'est pas le moment. Je voudrais que vous puissiez expliquer à la Cour et au parti les conditions dans lesquelles vous avez conservé ces photos. On voit celle de votre fils pour l'instant. Je crois qu'il y a aussi We're une photo de votre, son, de votre mère et une photo de votre mari qui est décédé en 76. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer à la Cour les conditions dans lesquelles vous avez pu conserver ces photos Et est-ce que ces photos sont les seuls objets ou non qui restent de cette époque Madame 
Oui, j'ai pris soin de conserver ces photos yes. très chères pour moi parce que j'avais rien à me faire. J'ai enlevé tout le temps photographs. dans plusieurs plastiques et j'ai pris soin de les garder dans le sol. Et parfois, j'ai caché 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 dans le sol. Est-ce que ces photos, Madame Fénier, sont les seuls, euh, les seuls souvenirs que vous avez conservés de l'époque pré-75 Oui, c'était les seuls. Oui, ce sont les seules choses. J'ai peut-être deux, deux autres questions, Madame Feignès, parce que je sais que vous avez des questions à, à poser aux, aux accusés, notamment à Kyo Sampan, et je crois que ces questions doivent être posées dans le temps qui nous est imparti. Donc je vais, je vais vous poser deux questions sur, sur l'exil, puisqu'on a compris de par votre témoignage que vous avez été euh, euh, réfugié en France. En 1979. Et c'est important qu'on comprenne les conséquences de l'exil dans une audience qui traite de l'impact des crimes. Est-ce que vous pouvez décrire à la Cour et aux partis votre sentiment quand vous êtes arrivé en France en octobre 1979 avec votre fils qui a survécu et votre sœur J'avais, vous savez, j'avais trois vies au fait, parce que j'avais une, une belle vie avec mes parents avant le génocide. Way, Après, pendant le génocide, c'était un enfer. Après, en étant en France, c'était encore une lutte pour survivre. J'avais le sentiment de déclassement, well. de, de parfois de solitude. Parce qu'il fallait encore I se battre pour repasser les... Même le permis de conduire, il faut tout repasser. Il faut faire les cours du soir pour avoir les diplômes, pour pouvoir driving test again. You had to do evening classes to obtain the same degrees and diplomas as before. You had to do menial jobs. It was a j'avais la culture complete française, uprooting. mais je me I know trouvais I had dans some un, French culture, dans but un France univers, is an enormous euh, place, and I find myself les in saisons, a world where the transport, the seasons, winter was very difficult, there were strikes, I had to feed très, très a child and a sister, and it was very hard for me. And I broke down, I went to the psychiatric institution for three months at one point. Psychologically, it was extremely taxing. Thank you, Mr. Fenyes. Peut-être une dernière question avant que vous puissiez demander au président l'autorisation de poser des questions aux accusés. Vous avez indiqué en début d'audience que vous souhaitiez vous exprimer en français parce que votre nouveau mari, votre fils et les membres de votre famille en France maintenant ne parlent pas khmer. Est-ce que vous parlez de cette période avec vos enfants Oui, je parle de temps en temps, mais yes. pas, vous savez, très, très peu, time. je parle au, à mon fils cadet, et euh, surtout euh, le grand-fils, non, je n'ai jamais parlé de cette période son, à mon grand-fils, mais avec le cadet, de temps en temps, je parle, et je parle aussi à mes amis, et à mon mari, beaucoup, oui, oui, je discute beaucoup avec mon mari, et à mes amis, et à mes amis, et certainement à mon mari, et je pense à cela, il est en train de suivre le procès en direct, je crois. Je pense qu'il est en train de suivre ce qui se passe en live. Merci. À qui pensez-vous, finalement, Mme Fignès, aujourd'hui, dans cette salle d'audience Aujourd'hui, Mme Fignès, qui est le plus dans votre mind The president, Madame, please hold on until you see the light on your mic. Madame, que nous voyons rouge s'allume. 
dans ce tribunal. La première pensée arrive well, à, à ma mère. In this courtroom, my first thoughts go to my mother. I didn't see her die. I have an image of my mother imprinted into my mind. She was so hungry, she had almost withered away. She went to the canteen with her rice bowl and She actually staggered and fell on the ground because she was so emaciated. And then there she was crawling, picking up grains of rice. And now, Mother, I'm telling you that I am bringing this case to the court for you. Merci, Madame Fignes. Je sais que vous souhaitiez poser des deux questions aux, aux accusés qui ont été communiqués à la Cour et aux parties hier, me semble-t-il. Euh, donc, je ne sais pas comment, comment ça fonctionne, Monsieur le Président. Est-ce que c'est à, à Madame Feignès de formuler ces questions et ce sera à vous de les poser Ou est-ce que. Madame Feignès, vous avez préparé, je crois, un petit, un petit carnet avec des questions Should Mrs. Yeah, Fenius uh, ask the questions directly herself? There are two of them, Mr. President. Yes, I'd like to ask Mr. Kiusampron two questions. Why did the Khmer Rouge focus on the 17th of April people? Since they had the same status as them. And the second question is, what is the purpose of the self-criticism sessions? I'd like to know the answers to those things. The President. Thank you. And I will refer this question to Mr. Q. Sampon uh, so that he can respond to the two questions. Mr. Q. Sampon, if you may proceed. <coughs> Mr. Q. Sampon, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. My respect to members Je salue of the bench les juges and everyone in the courtroom, and my respect to national compatriots. Je salue mes compatriotes ici présents. Madame Civil Party. Madame la Partie Civile. First and foremost, I would like to inform you that, despite the fact that I did Je not know the suffering you endured si at that time, and by listening to your vécu, statement this morning, I myself felt a lot of sorrow. J'ai ressenti une profonde tristesse. I do understand your great suffering Je separating vos from souffrances. your family members Vous avez été and you had lost your loved Vous avez ones. Perdu les êtres qui vous étaient chers. Nevertheless, The two questions you have posed soit, to me are interrelated. The first question was, of course, related to the second one. La première est en effet en corrélation avec la deuxième. It relates to the ideology. It was called the class struggle ideology. On parlait de l'idéologie de la lutte des classes. I am an intellectual. Je suis I was un not an idealist of the Communist Party of Cambodia. 
je n'étais pas un and I would also like du to inform you that the leaders, some leaders of the Democratic Kampuchea Certains government, du including some members of the Democratic Kampuchea government, consider me as me highly educated intellectual. They considered de my feet not attached to the ground, and I was considered useless. Il I want to make this point precisely clear for you. Et que donc que vous le bien. Nevertheless, I Cela étant dit, forced myself to flee Phnom Penh. Je me suis forcé I took à fuir de Phnom Penh. refuge in order to have the protection from the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Je suis allé me placer sous la protection du Parti communiste du Kampuchea. I stayed with them for one year and for two years. I had no choice but to join the Communist Party of Kampuchea. And subsequently, I gained some knowledge uh, of their I Ensuite, gradually. Peu à peu appris à connaître leur idéologie. For these facts, I can only share with you what I had known. Je peux seulement vous parler de ce que je savais. According to the theory of the ideological principle of the Communist Party of Cambodia, revolution had to go through two stages. The first one being the uh, national revolution, national democratic revolution. This was uh, the stage when we had to struggle against the colonialism, the French colonialism and American imperialism. And that was the period that national forces had to be reunited la les être through reconciled in through a resistance force. Pour former une force de resistance. Whether those people were former capitalists, they soit. were still gathered for the reconciliation for the purpose of autre, resisting and getting rid of the résister, capitalism et which were considered the oppressed class, class on the peasant's class. Qui opprimait la classe paysan. For that reason, a lot of Phnom Penh residents at the time joined in the resistant movement. Plusieurs Phnom Penhois se sont joints au mouvement de résistance à l'époque. And they joined the movement in various forms, including the process of demonstration uh, and some other activities opposing the Lundnold regime. And sometimes they collected the money together to buy the medicine for malaria treatments to those who stayed in the jungle des médicaments contre le paludisme à l'attention de ceux qui vivaient dans la jungle. À ce moment-là, les sympathisants des forces de résistance existaient partout à Phnom Penh. Et la majorité de ces sympathisants habitaient Phnom Penh. Même they ne assisted pas in their matériel, sympathy in their emotional support to the resistant movement. That was the first phase. La phase. As for the second phase, it was the socialist revolution la phase, phase et celle de la révolution and socialiste. the construction of communism. Et la construction du communisme. From my recollection, in April or in May, la at jour, the Silver Pagoda, en avril ou en mai, à la Pagode d'Argent, 
that was the first time that a meeting was held by the central c'est la committee première fois que le comité central s'est réuni in his representative of the communist Pol Pot. party of Kampuchea made an announcement en tant que du parti that the victory de Kampuchea a déclaré of the 17 April 1975 que la victoire du 17 avril 1975 was the end of the popular democratic revolutionary movement la fin de la première phase it indicated that it's the conclusion of the united front c'était la fin du front grunk et la fin du grunk and that indicated the first in through the socialist revolution and the socialist la reconstruction and the protection la phase of the socialiste country. et la construction et la protection du pays The idea behind Spolpo thinking was that the situation at the time was in Pot need of an urgent attention. Était que la situation Vietnam, after they reconciled their countries, they were in no need of a Cambodia, and for that they would turn to attack us. Que so Vietnam Cambodia had to urgently rebuild our country. Du Cambodge et donc let the Vietnam catch se préparer up and à l'attaque. Et c'est pourquoi il fallait construire le pays. So the democratic, the, the social revolution and construction et donc was of the general concept that all the land avait pour principe was de base. no longer of the members of the cooperative belonging or possession que les terres all the land became the property of the groupes, cooperatives mais plutôt devenait la propriété that is the property des of the people la, la propriété collective du peuple therefore we built dams and canals in a donc speedy process des canaux so that it doesn't have to have any conflict with any individual pieces of land here or there, because the land was for common use, and that would speed up the process of the construction of dams and canals. Les terres appartenaient à tous, et cela accélérait le processus de construction. And I myself witnessed that in 1976, when I had the opportunity to leave Phnom Penh. Quand j'ai quitté Phnom Penh, I saw canals and dams, including j'ai vu les canaux, j'ai vu les barrages, notamment celui de Trapeang Thmor, and the one to the west of Badambang, whose name I cannot recall. It was of huge size. C'était un très grand barrage. Et ce que j'ai vu était très grand. As for the Trapeang Thmor dam, it looked like a sea in the middle. Le réservoir faisait penser à une mer of the field of the used to be dry land Intérieur, and euh, as a result those dry land transformed into checkered rice fields to the horizon and that excited me en, euh, un de rizière. Et ça m'a épaté. and of course the saying goes whenever there is rice Comme there is everything dicton, quand il y a du riz, Il y a tout. And the people would be fed sufficiently, and the excess would be exported overseas, in particular to our friendly countries, including China, Korea, la Chine, la Corée, Yugoslavia, etc. La Yugoslavie et d'autres pays. And that, in return, we would be able to purchase the agricultural products, échange, including holes. Knives, des équipements axes, agricoles comme euh, des couteaux, etc. des haches, des houppes. And we could even gradually build our factories Et petit à petit, with the imported iron des usines in order avec to build water gates for the irrigational purposes for the rice field. Pour par la suite construire les systèmes d'irrigation pour les rizières. And I indeed saw the purchase of those large scale machineries. 
dans les barrages. That is to assist the people. Cela avait pour but but and, and luckily those machineries had not yet been distributed to the people due to the entering into our territory by the Vietnamese forces. Donc pas été distribué au peuple car les forces vietnamiennes ont pénétré. And, uh, let me repeat again, I was excited répéter, when I saw those large scales dammed. Ces grands barrages. But during the course of the proceedings before this chamber, when I have heard the testimonies le of, de our, ces of the witnesses, quand j'entends les dépositions des témoins, I was so shocked. Quand j'entends les déclarations, j'ai été choqué. As I was not aware that the dams, the canals, je ne savais pas were constructed que les in que exchange les of the such great loss. Construit à un tel prix. I did not know that. Je n'étais pas au courant de And ces grandes pertes. Et j'ai tout aussi été choqué quand j'ai entendu les testimonies d'un témoin ou civil. Les déclarations des témoins et des parties civiles. Voilà ce que je tenais à vous dire. Now let me return to another issue. J'aimerais maintenant parler d'un autre sujet. And it is because of that understanding they try to focus on all the the forces of the country for the beating of the dams and the canals. Dans and cette indeed, idée que l'on veut concentrer les forces du pays pour and canals. la construction des canaux et des barrages, il en a été question dans pendant les audiences. And the purpose at the time was not to to split the forces inside the country. À l'époque, l'idée n'était pas de nation. diviser les forces au sein de notre nation. As for the regime of criticism and self-criticism meetings, quant au système it was within the framework of the ideological principles of uh, social classes and class struggle in particular for the de classes, parties members et surtout pour les membres during du the parti. popular uh, uh, revolutionary movement the people's party had to sacrifice the most in order to be a, an example to the entire nation, to the entire people, so that those people who joined in the resistance movement le mouvement de and in order to form and achieve their due, criticism and self-criticism meetings had to form. Et former la mentalité. And everybody acknowledged that the Democratic of Cambodia forces were of the height merit. Et tout le monde they que were les contradictory to the forces of the Khmer Serai, who only robbed the people of their property. Le mérite, et pas les Khmer Serai qui, eux, Voler la yes, for me personally, I also had to participate in the criticism and self-criticism meetings in order to build myself into a proletarian class. Pour former et construire la classe proletaire. That is during the phase of the socialist uh, construction. C'était pendant la phase de la construction socialiste. But I myself could not get rid of my former class because pas pu, my moi, mentality was de ma still that of the capitalism and the semi-capitalism, as I still hate uh, funds for my relatives and family members. Of course, I try to to encourage myself to only focus on the only benefit for the famille. nation. Il est certain que je me suis concentré à de travailler and que pour sacrifice everything. L'avantage de and la nation de tout sacrifier my, my entire endeavor et de concentrer tous mes efforts. The due of the proletarian class 
of the poor patient class selon la mentalité de la classe and des paysans pauvres de la the classe patient class prolétaire de la But classe des paysans pauvres I could not achieve that moyens. despite some Mais je of pas, the leaders who were intellectuals or lower intellectual intellectuals and who also went through the class struggles d'autres dirigeants qui étaient criticism and some criticism meetings They could les successfully build themselves. Ont, sont à that se is, they get rid of their proletarian or their capitalist class and only conscience focus conscience everything on their uh, et de leurs resistant movement for every breath they took. But personally, I could not do that. Entièrement le mouvement de résistance avec chaque. And these are some of the points that I like to convey to you, Madame faisait, mais moi, je n'ai pas réussi à le faire. This is my conclusion, voilà, Mr. President. Ce que je tenais à vous dire, Monsieur le Président, voilà qui met fin à mes remarques. Allow me to apologize. Permettez-moi. If I could not respond to your questions, as I am not the ideologist, si ideologist of the Communist Party of Cambodia, car je ne suis pas l'idéologue en chef de la Communauté démocratique. Le Party, as you may proceed. Le Président, merci. La parole est à l'avocate de la Parti civil. Merci, Monsieur le Président. You, je, je crois que Madame Fénias souhaitait faire une, une dernière déclaration extrêmement courte. Uh, like euh, on parle d'une phrase ou de pas plus. Et je voulais one, savoir si vous me donniez l'autorisation like de, de lui suggérer de faire cette déclaration, qui est extrêmement courte. Président. Uh, please wait. Le I notice the council for notices on his feet as you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Um, yes, Mr. President. I'm mindful of the time, Monsieur but my je client has instructed me that he would also like to answer the questions uh, posed by the civil party. I don't know if there is time for that, but if, if there is, je sais si he would like to answer the questions. If the time permits, my client would like to answer the questions posed by. Madame. Yes. He may do so. Mr. Nunchi, could you please respond to Monsieur the Nunchi. questions put to you by the civil party? That is why the Khmer Rouge focus only on the new people, why they were of a different class compared to the rest of the people, as they should be in the same class as the rest of the people and the leaders of the Democratic Party. And for the second question is what is the purpose of criticism and self-criticism? You may respond to these two questions now. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Good mo morning, Madame, non, Monsieur les National Compatriots. Bonjour. Inside and Tous outside mes compatriotes the country, au pays et à l'étranger. I would like to respond the, to the questions. J'aimerais répondre aux questions qui ont été posées. Je ne peux pas être dans un meilleur état. Et ma réponse sera celle de la bénéfice pour la nation. Je ne peux pas être dans un état de la nation. J'aimerais offrir mon respect à l'âme de tous les Cambodiens. And to all the survivors who lost their relatives under the Democratic Cambodian regime, under the regime of the Cambodian Democratic regime, although during that regime things were complicated, the situation was complex. There were partisans within the the country, and although they boasted themselves as a Democratic Cambodian, but I myself, as one of the leaders, I Acknowledge comme the lack in this area. Je And once again, allow me to express my regret that the leadership was not of the perfect nature. 
That is the first instance. Que les And for my second instance, allow me to respond to the questions. Je vais maintenant répondre aux questions. Regarding the categorization of the best people in the 17th April election, it is my understanding that the purpose of the Communist Party of Campuchia was that there should be no distinction between the best people and the 17th April people as we had to reconcile our country, to unite our country for the purpose of solidarity and to defend our country from the invasion, from the aggression and the expansion of the neighboring countries and we are all aware of that and there is no need for me to explain whose countries they are. Our neighboring countries les pays who voisins. have the ambition to invade our country, and that is the biggest risk to our country. Le plus grand risque que le, le Cambodge. In addition to that, I also had the intention to join with the nation and with the compatriots to defend the nation de and the people. And les I did not have any request to make a, any distinction between the old people and the new people. Entre les, le peuple and et now le peuple on the point of Criticism and self-criticism. Allow me to clarify it. The purpose of criticism and self-criticism was to eradicate. Allow me to say, to eradicate, to eradicate the bad elements, the non-compatriot element within ourselves. It is not to get rid of any individuals. But you get rid of the elements, the bad elements within us. So we should not get confused between these two, two points. Even I myself, early, I also was confused. And therefore, the purpose of socialist construction and for the purpose of the solidarity for the means of the agricultural production. So I think there, there have been a lot of confusions in regard to this principle. We gather all the educational, all the agricultural tools and means, including the land, so that we could build dams, canals, etc. And that is the purpose of uh, that voilà à quoi criticism meeting. Ces de President, uh, thank you, Nunchia. Le président. Merci, Nunchia. Next, the chamber would like to give the, the floor la to chambre, the civil party to parole, uh, make a civil. brief statement Donc, requested by the council. You may proceed. Allow me to continue a little bit further. My family also suffered, and Sun Cassette was my black nephew. He died. I was not aware of that. And Pu Jing, the teacher, and Siu Heng, they were all of my relatives. And why should I kill my own people or my relatives or my nation? I myself could not even defend or protect my family members because after the liberation I met my mother, she wept and she said she was pushed to the ground during the evacuation. And she said that I was in my native village. Why should I be forced to evacuate from my native village? So allow me to say that under the democratic Cambodian regime, there were those bad people as well. President, thank you, Mr. Nunchia. Le président. I think your response to the two questions is now sufficient. Je crois que vous avez as we are running out of the time, so the floor is now given to the civil party to make a brief last statement and requested by the council. Madame Toy Panara, you may proceed. Panara, you have the floor.
Yes, I would simply like to ask Mr. Kusumpon, who is a Buddhist and an intellectual like myself, just to pray for the souls of the people who died, as well as for those who survived, so that, that way these people might have a bit of peace, pray in the Buddhist way, that's all, if you wish to do so. I was not aware that your relatives and family members made such a misery and a suffering. Votre famille and a lot of Cambodian people made such faith including some of those who were the basic people, y compris des gens du peuple de base. They made the misery and the suffering, and I was shocked ont vécu les souffrances by et that misère, fact. Et cela At the same time, I cannot forget the souls je ne peux non plus of the people and the male and female combatants who crawled under the bombardment, the bombardment of the B-52 in order to liberate the Phnom Penh. Those who died would left at where they were, and the one who survived would crawl further to be near the line of the Lunar soldiers in order to avoid the bombardment from the B-52. They joined the attack. Ils ont participé and à l'assaut. Several of them lost their lives. Et beaucoup d'entre eux. And I raise my hands Et to pray. Je and joins les mains to pour prier. Express my respect with my Et humbleness to all those brave male and female combatants, combatants, as well as the souls of all Cambodian people. De tous who les died in the circumstances made by the nation that is after the end of the American war, it led to the Vietnam War, and we never had any break of peaceful period during the time. Nous pas connu la paix. And once again, I pray to the souls of Et all the people. Pour les âmes. President, thank you, Kiyo Sampon. Le président. The floor is Merci now given to the prosecution to put questions to the civil party. Do you have 10 minutes? Disposer de 10 minutes pour son interrogatoire de la Mr. President, thank you. Good morning to you, Mr. President, to uh, the judges of the tribunal, Bonjour. to my fellow counsel, Bonjour. and in particular to you. Madame Touch Et bonjour Andrea à vous, en particulier Madame Touch. I'd like to cover, if I may, please, two parts of your evidence. J'aimerais que l'on revienne sur the first relates deux parties to de votre déclaration. A person you've spoken about in your evidence, General Touch Sari. Le, je voudrais que l'on parle d'une personne que vous avez évoquée, le général please, Touch Sari. Can you please, first of all, Sarri. describe what relation to you was General Touch Sari. Quel était votre lien avec le général Touch Sari? Le général Touch Sari était mon cousin par alliance. General Touch Sari was my cousin by marriage. He uh, married uh, my cousin Ned Naren, so he is my cousin. What happened to him? Que lui est-il arrivé? Le jour de 
l'entrée des Khmer Rouges. On the day Donc, uh, when the Khmer Rouge était parti de la entered maison, the city, my cousin had left the de, house, une, une and qui nous est, qui nous a as I heard from another cousin Alors, who a met us later, ce cousin est, a été appelé par, justement par he la, la radio was called up over the radio to go and present himself at the Ministry of Information. Et, uh, and that's après, cette, cette même where he went. Rapporté, and then the same cousin told me that she actually witnessed my cousin's execution. She told me that. Madame, I've done a search of the case papers in our case, and I'd like Madame, to check the spelling of this general's name. En fait, fait une I'm dans referring le pénal, to document vérifier. number E3-276. I only nom. have the extract in English because it's the United States Department Archives. Mm. Les archives English, du gouvernement américain, ERM 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, Donnant la liste des généraux qui ont été suffisamment exécutés. Hong Kong, Cela a été envoyé in depuis English, Hong Kong en anglais le 21 mai 1976. Et le texte lit ainsi, et je quote. cite Bangkok, 21 mai. Bangkok, 20 mai. The Khmer Rouge captured 21 mai. 54 Les Cambodian Khmer Rouge generals. Ont fait prisonnier 54 When généraux they cambodgiens Phnom Penh lorsque in April 1975 pris Phnom Penh en avril 1975 et them, les aurait exécutés often with their family. souvent avec leur the famille resistance movement claimed here today. selon une déclaration du mouvement de résistance cambodgien ici and I'd like to check, please, so that we're sure the spelling on this is as follows for General T-H-A-C-H-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-S-A-R-Y-
de bétail pour aller à Poursat. Pour moi, ça me paraissait une éternité. Je ne peux well, pas vous I dire exactement like an combien, de, combien de temps pour moi. Et trois mois, 25 jours, je sais pas. Lasted, months, train, days, qui, uh, ils nous I'm ont sure. déportés. De, euh, It was the train justement they de Enromir. Après, on était arrivé à Kampongchan, après Pursat, et après Pursat, le train nous emmenait vers Phnom Penh. Ce sont les étapes. Le those temps, vous savez, à l'époque, le temps n'existait pas, ça me paraît tellement long. Duration, Même 20 jours, c'était comme time. deux mois. Euh, 35 like jours, c'est presque 30, comme un an. C'est euh, un temps en partie. A certain amount of time went by, but that's all I can say. Did you have any choice whether to be on that cattle train or not? Avez-vous eu le choix d'embarquer dans ce train à bétail ou de ne pas le faire? Je n'avais aucun choix puisque il y avait no toujours les soldats whatsoever. qui étaient derrière nous et nous We poussaient were... dans le train. Constantly pushed by the soldiers to get onto the train. The train was jam-packed with people. You described the period after you arrived as the time when the true famine began. Can you help me, if you're able to, on how long after you arrived in the forest après the jungle, votre arrivée dans la forêt, first combien de temps s'est écoulé jusqu'au moment où les premières personnes ont commencé à mourir Pendant que j'étais à Phnom Chung Ten, on Phnom Phnom commençait Phnom Phnom. Euh, déjà à avoir euh, beaucoup, beaucoup de problèmes de santé. On n'avait rien à manger, problems. donc il y avait des gens qui essayaient d'aller chercher les euh, légumes sauvages, les épinards sauvages, d'où vous voyez, moi j'avais une panarie. Parce que je suis allée chercher les épinards sauvages, une épine m'avait piqué, sans I mon mari myself. médecin, il avait opéré cru. Mon, mon pouce était complètement, uh, voilà, resta, reste jusqu'à maintenant. J'avais la fièvre un peu partout et donc sans cette opération de mon mari, je ne serais pas là à, à témoigner en ce moment. Bon, la famine était déjà depuis ce moment-là. Um, and hunger had already become widespread by that stage. They didn't give us anything to eat. This is my final question. J'en arrive à ma dernière You've question. Arrived in the jungle. Vous êtes arrivé dans la forêt. My question is, did people start dying within hours, within days, within weeks or within months of that arrival? In the jungle. les jours, les semaines ou les mois qui ont suivi votre arrivée dans la forêt. Oui, j'ai vu euh, les gens qui mangeaient trop de, de légumes, uh, d'herbes, qui avaient la diarrhée et commençaient à mourir à ce moment-là. Par contre, ma famille, c'était en 76 seulement qu'ils commençaient à began à, à to mourir l'un après l'autre en 76. But it was in 1976 that people started to expire in large numbers. Thank you. I have no further questions. Merci. Je n'ai plus de questions à poser. The president. Thank you. Le président. Now I hand Merci. over to the à defense présent, team for Mr. Nguyen-Chia to put the question to the de civil party. You may proceed. Qui pourra interroger la partie civile. Council Sonarun. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Bonjour, Honours, and good morning to everyone. Juges, and good morning, Civil Bonjour Party. I have only Bonjour two questions, and my civile. international colleagues would have questions. another two questions. Ensuite, my first question uh, to you. You told the court that uh, in 1972, uh, Viet Cong uh, shell uh, on my house, house, not on the Khmer Rouge house. So my question to you is, uh, why did you come to know that the uh, rocket shell 
Comment saviez-vous que ces roquettes Viet Cong. étaient lancées par des Viet Cong Je sais, vous savez, parce qu'il y well, a une, un document original de mon papa this. qui euh, a été dactylographié en français pour demander justement le changement de poste. In, uh, et il a mentionné French. dans ce document que... Belonging to my father, actually mentioned on the 6th of May. That his house was shelled by Viet Cong shells. My father was working under the orders of General Taxari. He was prior to that financial director of the Water Administration, and that's the document that I'm basing this statement on. And I still have it in Paris, by the way, and I have given a copy of it to my lawyer. Thank you. This is part of the history. It's very important. I would like to follow up to my first question. So is it fair uh, to say that in, Donc, back in 1972, Viet Cong uh, troops uh, were fighting in Cambodia? Uh, there was an existence of Viet Cong in Khmer. Is, was that uh, correct? Because at that time, we were fighting. Uh, the Khmer Rouge were fighting with Lon Nol. And uh, of all of a sudden, uh, Viet Cong shell hit your house. So is it fair to say that at that time, Viet Cong was actually uh, in turning and fighting in Cambodia. Les Viet Cong étaient impliqués dans des combats au Cambodge. Je refuse de, de répondre à cette question parce que I moi, refuse je suis to civil, je suis civil, la politique, je ne connais pas les hommes de l'État. Je ne suis pas impliqué dans la politique. Je laisse la politique aux politiciens. Je ne sais pas en ce qui concerne la politique. Je me base I sur know. le document de mon papa. Je me base sur le document de mon père. C'est tout. Thank you. La défense. Merci. With uh, Mr. President leave, I would like to request uh, uh, the letter uh, from your Monsieur father so that it uh, can be kept as part of the historical record uh, with Mr. President leave. I would like to uh, submit this request. Être conservé au dossier en tant que pièce historique. The President. Thank you. On this request, the Chamber wishes to clarify on two points. Uh, civil parties, if you can uh, forward a copy of the document, uh, as per the request by the Defense Team for Mr. Nguyen to the Chamber first, uh, is good. That is the first uh, point. And the second point concerning the documents as well as questions concerning the documents are not relevant to the temporal jurisdiction of the proceedings before us. 
because the temporal jurisdiction of the Khmerus Tribunal is from the 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. Council Sonoran, I have one last question for you. Following your statement to the court this morning, you told the court Dans that on the 17th of April 1975, back then, the Khmer Rouge evacuated you and your family members from your home. And you were being evacuated by groups of soldiers in different uniforms. They forced you to leave your home. And then you said that later on, there was a different group of soldiers in different kind of uniform uh, told you that you had to leave your house and they were very aggressive and they told you that you would leave your house for only a few days. Uh, I don't know if I summarize your statement correctly. I stand to be corrected. No, Council, you got this wrong. What I said that was that there were groups of Khmer Rouge soldiers. They weren't different types of soldiers. They were all Khmer Rouge soldiers. And I recognized them by the fact that they were in black uniforms and carrying guns. There were no other groups. There were just the Khmer Rouge soldiers. Uh, Thank you. So I have uh, got only two questions. Uh, I think that probably I got it wrong from your statement. Uh, now I do not have any further questions. I see the floor to my international colleague. Thank you, Mr. President. The President. Thank you. Uh, Council, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I only have a few uh, brief questions to the civil party. Um, Madam Civil Party, you mentioned earlier um, your cousin, from whom you had heard the story that um, General Taksari uh, had been executed. What's the name of your cousin who told you this? Comment s'appelle le cousin qui vous a raconté cela? Excusez-moi, c'était une cousine. It was a woman cousin. Dans, elle était militaire aussi. She elle travaillait dans son service. Was in the Et cette cousine, maintenant, elle est décédée il y a deux ans. She was working in her particular section and elle était en France she aussi. passed away elle, two years ago. Était, she came to France, France as well and she passed away in France two years ago. Um, La what, what, what was her name? Comment s'appelait-elle? Elle s'appelle Yuan, Y-O-U-R-N. Y-O-U-R-N, Yuan. Do you remember when exactly she told you vous this story? Vous souvenez-vous à quel moment exactement elle vous a raconté cela? Lorsque on était yes, déjà, vous savez, à Phnom Chien Teng. We were already in Phnom Chien Teng. Dans la jungle. In the jungle. Would you be able to say la when exactly? Quand exactement était-ce? C'était lorsque on était ensemble les six familles réunies à Phnom Penh. It was when we were together, when the six families were together in Phnom Penh. And in, would you be able to tell which month of which year that was? Pourriez-vous nous indiquer le mois ou l'année? Je 
Je me souviens, c'était euh, le mois d'août. I seem to remember that it was August because it was the rainy season. Des, My children suffered a great deal from the rain. It was the start of August. Thank you. La Défense. Merci. President, thank you. Next, uh, I hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Kilsan Pond to put the question to the civil party. You may proceed. Council Kungsman, thank you, Mr. President, and good morning to the member of the bench. And I have a few questions, and uh, my international, uh, I and my international colleagues do not have any question for this uh, civil party. Thank you, Mr. President. The president. Thank you, thank you, Madame. Merci. Panarar. Madame the chamber has Panarar. already heard uh, your La statement of your uh, suffering uh, you endured during the uh, Khmer Rouge uh, period. Vécu. Your testimony Durant before the chamber Rouge, has now come to an end, and the chamber uh, wishes to record uh, this uh, statement, and I believe that your statement will contribute to Votre ascertaining uh, the truth uh, in this chamber. I wish you all the best, and Nous court officer is now instructed to uh, coordinate uh, with the um, WESU in order to arrange the uh, transport uh, of the civil party back home. Next, uh, the chamber will uh, hear the testimony and the statement of suffering of PCCP uh, 7. However, the time is now appropriate for uh, a break. The chamber will adjourn for 15 minutes, and we will resume at uh, 5 past 11. The court is now adjourned. Some change, Groucho.